Hi, I'm Greg Hendricks and welcome to mail tip number three. In this mail tip, I'm going to show you a very easy script that will randomize the positions of whatever you have selected. So for example, if I grab these vertices and run the script, it will randomize each vertex position. If I grab the faces and run the script, it will randomize each face position. Or if I grab the object itself and run the script, it will randomize the object's position. And here's the script. And what's going on here is First, we get a list of the selection with the flatten flag, and I'll talk more about the flatten flag a little bit later. But we get the li uh, a list of the selection, we store it in a string array, we make sure the user has something selected by checking if the size of that array is less than or equal to zero, and if it is, we'll print out a warning. If they do have something selected, we'll do a for loop and loop through each component, and we'll generate a random value using the sran command and then we move that using the relative flag. So first thing I want to talk about is the uh, friend command. <laughs> Not sure if I'm saying that right. And let's head over to the Maya documentation or the Maya mail documentation and see what they have to say about this command. So the main thing is this command generates random vectors evenly distributed inside a sphere of the specified radius. And down here they give some examples. So basically what that means is, so in this case we had a value of 0 0.4 radius. So it's basically it'll say, give me a random number within this spherical volume with the radius of 0 0.4, to think of it visually. And it'll give us a, it returns a vector or a float. And in this case I'm storing it in a vector and the syntax for using a vector is you have to put each component, each axis in a parentheses and in this case we have friend value as the variable name so I do the variable name dot x, variable name dot y, variable name dot z and it's important to have these parentheses or for some reason my gives you an error if you don't and the reason I use a vector instead of a float array is I think the vector is a little bit easier to read and cleaner. So here I have an example of the same as that script that does exactly the same thing but using a float array instead. So here's the float array and instead of using dot x dot y dot z you use 0, 1, and 2. And in my opinion it just makes for it to be more readable and that's what you usually want to go for. Alright, so the move-relative, what relative does is takes the object's current position and tacks onto it whatever value you give it. So, for example, if object's at 1, 0, 0, and you tell it to move, move relative 0 0.100, 0, 0, it'll move the object over to 1.100. 0, 0. So let's take the object's current position and move it relative to that position. So we're generating a random value, then we're saying move from your current position in addition to that random value we just generated. Alright, so now back to this flatten command of what it does. So let me delete this sphere and create a cylinder. And let's grab the bottom part of this cylinder and do ls selection without the flatten flag. And it'll give us dot vtx and this kind of group format and what Maya does is it will group sequential components so in this case we have 0 through 19 vertices selected and it will give us this group format but when we go through our for loop it will treat this as one object now so let's run the script without the flatten flag and see what happens. So as you see it moves this whole all these vertices as one. So that's the reason we use the flatten flag and let me show you what that returns instead. This will give us each component individually. So then it gives us this behavior which, we, which is what we wanted. So that's the reason we use the flatten flag. And let's see. Yeah, I think that covers everything. 
so that wraps up this mail tip. If you have a suggestion for a future mail tip, then leave a comment below. And please subscribe to keep up to date on future tutorials. And thanks for watching.